finally, 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 The Rock has returned. Nah, he hasn't returned anywhere, but I finally got this. Um, yeah. Um, I I just don't know which one. I got a serious problem. Welcome back to another video, guys. Yeah, we we, uh, we finally got the fairing in the garage, man. Finally. Uh, you guys know how long I've been talking about this fairing. Um, I've been wanting this. How much of, of a big fan I am of this fairing, of this era of Harley Davidson, and, and why Harley Davidson should bring this nostalgic look back and on this modern bike. Um, so, yeah, basically, this this should be an option right now for the Harley Davidson market, but unfortunately it's not. Now, I have a big dilemma here because originally I bought this fairing and I got it from one of my subs. So huge shout out to RJ, man, from PA. Um, I'm not gonna get into the whole story of how I got it or whatever, but huge shout out to you, homie. Um, I originally got this fairing with the intentions of putting it on this bike. And I wanted a nice white painted, you know, painted white and blue color match with the bike. Um, yeah, and now I'm like, I kind of want it on that bike, and I'm, I'm really torn in between now. So here's the dilemma, though. These fairings, obviously, they're pretty universal, so you go on either bike. The only thing that changes is the bracket that it gets mounted on, the mountain bracket, right? So I could still get that bracket from RJ because he has another one, um, and I could just go pick it up from him if I wanted to put it on that bike. If I wanted to put it on this bike, I gotta go and buy a brand new one, which is gonna cost me around $600 or so. The one that I could get from him for that bike, it'll, it'll be way cheaper, right? So <clears throat> you could say, yeah, that makes more sense. Um, it's gonna be cheaper, or, and it's already painted. It's already painted black, it's just ready to put on that bike. And I have the light right here as well. He also, you know, gave me the light with it. Which, let me show you the light. So it's really nice light, black housing. Looks really cool, I'm pretty sure it'll look nice on. And then we got the outside cover, which goes over the light. Um, so I, this just needs to be cleaned up. We got some bug goo right there, splatter bugs. All the nuts and screws, everything is just there. I just, I'm just missing the bracket, right? So here's the thing, if I get it on this bike, I'm, like I said, I gotta get it painted. It's gonna cost a lot of money to get it painted. Probably around like $800 or so. Um, plus the bracket, which is another $600. So it's like, yeah, I just need the bracket for this. Um, and it's, it's pretty much good to go. I'm just, I don't know, like I really wanted this bike to have this fairing. I wanted the Dyna just to, to have this feeling, man. But then now I'm looking at the M8, I'm like, it just seems proper, like, I don't know. And this is where you guys come in, because I really need you guys to help me decide what bike this fairing should go on. And I need you to comment down below. Please comment, just if you have an option or something to say, drop your comments down below, you drop your thoughts down below, but also drop your comment. Just say Dyna or Softail. Dyna or Softail, Dyna or Softail, Dyna or Softail, Dyna or Softail, Dyna or Softail. That's, that's pretty much right now what I, what's What's going on in my head? Dinosaur tail, dinosaur tail, and I can't decide. So, yeah. Also, I have you here. Huge shout out to San Jose Customs. We received this little hat this morning and this t shirt. I'll show you the back of it right now, which looks pretty cool. They were nice enough to send me this shift linkage for the Dyna with the matching blue and then the peg as well. So blue, 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 it's gonna look super nice. And I also got that in black for the low rider S. San Jose Custom is also the company that provided me the risers that you guys are such a big fan about on the low rider S. So if you are a fan of those risers or any of this attire or any stuff, cause they make everything in the US of A, uh, the link is gonna be down below in the description box and also have a little promo code for you guys. You guys save, save at least a little cash right there. But anyways, back to my thought guys. What do you guys think, man? Like, what really, what, what do you guys think? Should, should we should we put it on the Dyna? Matter of fact, let's just mock it up real quick. Let's just put it in front of the Dyna real quick to see what you guys think. Then we'll put it in front of the low rider S and then you guys could tell me from there. So this is 
with the dino basically kind of looked like it. Obviously color matched, um, all white with blue going down the sides. And I also do want to switch out the windshield on top, get a clockworks windshield. Now let me just show you real quick, mock it up on the Lowrider S and show you how that will look. And then this is what it kind of basically look like on the Lowrider S, just a little more pushed in. It has the Memphis Shades Road Warrior on it right now, so you can't really tell that much, but um, yeah. Like I said, it's already painted uh, in that black color, so it's just ready to put on. Um, it just needs to be a little cleaned off and that's it. Um, but tell me what you guys think down below. I need you guys to help me decide soon because I really want to get this thing on like as soon as possible. So let me know. Um, we have another video coming out tomorrow. Also this weekend is the first group ride. So I already have a lot of riders on there. There's over 20 bikes coming. So tune in for that video. It's going to be super dope. We're going up to a brewery, upstate New York, uh, get some food, uh, smoke some cigars, chop it up with everybody, look at everybody's bikes, enjoy the nice roads up there. It's gonna be a pretty nice video, so tune in for that video. Expect that Sunday night, maybe Monday morning. Who knows? That's gonna be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Help me out on this, please. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.